Hey guys, Blakey here and welcome back to another video. Today I have another tutorial for you guys. So this tutorial is going to be how to use shaders in 2D on Unity. Now I've found that this is a problem that many many people struggle with. There are tutorials of it already out on YouTube but that is the same with pretty much everything on this earth. So I'm just going to be trying to make a tutorial that is really easy to understand and really simple to execute for yourself. Uh, because Unity don't actually include a way... Uh, like a very easily accessible way to have shaders work with 2d and I'm going to show you guys an example of this so I've got a little um, I've got a little view here so this is my scene this is my game view so if I drag my little character this is a guy that I had for an old game but it didn't actually uh, end up happening so if I resize and make him a little bit bigger there you go he's a little bit blurry but you know it's besides the point it doesn't actually matter so I'm gonna go ahead and add a light so as you can see we have a pitch black background I also have the ambient so the overall lighting I have set to complete black so technically there is no light in this scene yet he is completely visible and this idea can be strengthened if I add a point light so now I'm dragging a point light uh, around it is not affecting our little character in the slightest you can see there's no shade being added no light when the point goes around him and it should go away when the point light is not there I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change that so what we're gonna do we're gonna go over to Photoshop as you can see, we've got a little character here. So if you have a uh, made a little character, brilliant. That is obviously the first step. The next thing you're going to want to do is go down to this little button in the top right, uh, bottom right, and create a new layer. Now what we're going to do is right click on that new layer and press create a clipping mask. What a clipping mask is, is basically anything you draw on this clipping mask will only correspond to the layer below. So if I draw here, there's nothing here because there is nothing there on the layer below. But if I do, I've got it really big so you can cover a lot of ground. Uh, so what you're going to need to do is paint this whole, all of your character in complete white. Uh, it has to be completely white, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's only doing uh, our little character because we're on a clipping mask. Now that it's done, we can go ahead and save this. So I'm going to save this as a player character. I'm going to replace that little guy. Okay, and that's done. So now we can go back over to Unity and press Import New Asset. And this is all of this stuff. So we're going to press Play Up Character. So you guys probably didn't see that. Actually, oh no, you would have seen that actually. Um, we're going to go ahead. Right, so the next thing we've got to do. So now we have our character, which we've dragged in. Make sure you drag him in before you do anything. Before you start messing with anything else, you need to make sure he's on the scene. Otherwise, there, there is um, issues that can take place. So now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do is click on our little right character. Uh, and we've got loads of these are very confusing settings, if you haven't seen them many times. But all you need to do is follow my steps and you'll be good to go. So texture, uh, texture type, right at the top. You're going to change from Sprite 2D and UI to Normal Map. Then you'll see a few of the settings change. And one of them is Create from Grayscale. We're going to press Tick. And I'm going to drag the bumpiness from 0 0.25 all the way down to 0. And then we can go ahead and click apply. And that is that step done. And you should see your little character just turn completely bluish purple. But yeah. So the next step is now we're going to create a material. So the way this works, to add a shader, to add shaders and lights to work with 2D, you need to have a material. Because materials are used for 3D objects and that is pretty much how they all uh, correspond and work with light so we need to apply that to 2d characters and the reason this isn't very popular is because 2d games don't tend to have materials attached to them most people make the assets on photoshop hence they don't use uh, materials but this is a little trick to get them working so we're going to go ahead and press create material i'm going to call this guy player matte player material okay so now you can see we've got all these settings once again all we're going to do is go to shader Gonna go all the way down to legacy shaders. Then gonna go, to, go, to go gonna go down to transparent. Go all the way up to bumped diffuse. Go ahead and click that, and you should see some new settings on here. So now we have a main color, and we're not gonna mess with this setting. And we have the base RGB, and we have our first texture, and then we have the normal bat, the normal map, which is the second texture. So the normal map is this one right here, and the top base RGB texture is this one so what we're going to go ahead and do is click on your player map drag your first character from your assets into the first texture you can see it's a little bit squashed doesn't matter 
we've got our second character we're going to go ahead and drag him in here and you should see your material may look a little bit weird trust me you're doing it right guys so now the last step is we're going to go ahead and click on our character we're going to press play out material we're going to hold and drag it onto this material you should see for the first time you should see your player go completely black on your scene and if we go to game it should be completely black now this might not be the case this might uh, automatically you might automatically start seeing light but if this isn't the case there is a very quick fix for this so what actually happens is because we are in 2d you can actually see you can press uh, 3d you can turn off 2d and now you're in 3d mode if you had a massive level setup you'd be able to see everything so what we need to do is go and click on our point light and just drag it the tiniest bit forward and you'll see on this game screen it starts to appear. You see that guys? So when it goes behind the character you can't see but the minute it goes in front you can see. So now, now that we've done that we can go ahead and press 2D and we can go ahead and drag our point light around. So if we go to the move tool and you guys can see that finally we do have actual uh, lights being affected and lights affecting our little characters. You can do this for your background of your game as you can see in my game. I'll show a little bit of gameplay here uh, how light is affected. You can use it, with, I have it with, uh, set to every single texture. You can use a glow effect. You can change the color of this to red. So you could have like a devil character like that. I'll show you guys on full screen. It's a little bit blurry. Obviously your character will not look like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to white or even yellow, you could have a yellow, make us make a Homer Simpson, who knows, whatever you guys want. But if I take him away, you can see it goes dark. Now we can change this, if we set the intensity to 10, or even 100, or 1000, you can see he's starting to blow up. <laughs> so probably the best thing to do is probably stick with, I tend to stick around 1 to 10, usually around 8, I find it's the best. But everybody's settings are going to be different guys. So this was just a short tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If it doesn't work, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I, go, I can help you out. I also have one last announcement before I go. I have finally made a Discord server. If you haven't added it, go ahead and check the description. You can add it. It's for gamers, game developers, and it game developers even. Anybody that wants to join, you are welcome to. Everybody's friendly. Everybody discusses. We all support each other, promote each other's games, and etc. So go ahead and join in the description. I thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.